Think of all these things. New Jerusalem. Let's keep writing. <laughs> New Jerusalem. Hey, I went through the thing, man. <laughs> New Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God. Prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. This heavenly realm is supposed to be like the bride. <gasps> oh, my wife better measure up. I better make, make sure she's like heaven. Adorned. You know, the Bible says in uh, Jeremiah 2 and verse 32, I think, it says, can a woman forget her ornaments? <laughs> Yet you have forgotten me, it seems. <laughs> so please don't fight about the ornament issue. Women cannot forget their ornaments. God knows it. And she's supposed to be like that, adorned. Say adorned. 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 Ha, adorned. Prepared as a bride adorned for a husband. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. God wants to live with us. This is an interesting person. Pavel. Pavel. Pavel Kadolpa. Pavel Deva. God, he wants to live with us. He must be very special, I'm telling you. But Mr. D has been telling us we're not special. God thinks you are very special. God thinks it so much he wants to live with you. Mm -mm. Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. He will dwell with them. They shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God. And as you keep reading, he says, he'll wipe away all their tears. And notice, no more death, no sorrow, no crying, no more pain. Former things passed away. You know there's no death there. There's no poverty. There's no pain there. He wants it like that in your house. When they see your house, they will say, this must be. This must be heaven. This must be. Wow, this is heaven. You know, some James Bond movie, James Bond will wake up suddenly, surrounded by all these women and say, this must be heaven. <laughs> Have you seen that? I used to watch James Bond go crazy. There will be so many women around him, he will open his eyes and say, this must be heaven. That's another kind of heaven. There are 72 women like but Jesus said, <laughs> you people are erring and do not know the scripture or the power of God. For in the resurrection, they do not marry or are given in marriage. They are like angels. Don't think we're going to cohabit there in that way. We may live as families in the same house because we love each other so much. If you don't, well, maybe you live far away from each other. <laughs> if you know what I mean, if you know what I mean. Even in heaven, he must go and live, you know, 144 million miles away. Don't come near my perimeter. CCTV is watching you. Don't come near my house. No, the flesh, it will be glorified. Those thoughts will be, it's meek as a puppy dog. I love you. I'm sorry I treated you so bad. You were my saved wife, but I treated you like crapola, which is Italian. But, hallelujah. I'm so sorry. Why? Because the flesh is gone. Say the flesh is gone. The flesh is gone. Who will suffer? The flesh will suffer. Other things will be leaping for joy. Your spirit will be like. Your spirit will be doing circus inside there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your flesh will be saying, oh my God. Take me away from here. Suicide, suicide. Jumping point, jumping point. That's what Jesus said. Paul said, crucify that fellow. Crucify that turkey, man. Grab him, hammer him real good. He has to be, he has to suffer. But he doesn't like it. So Paul advertised to the church, you will suffer if you marry. You will have double trouble, oh. Double trouble, oh. Double trouble. You cannot even handle your own L-I-F-E. How can you handle another W-I-F-E? <laughs> See, you have to grow 
Freud. I don't think it's going to be easy. 